in this experiment, what we're going to do is we are going to use yeast to produce alcohol. And the way that yeast does this is by putting it in an anaerobic situation, i.e. there is no oxygen, and then it will break down the glucose that is present to form ethanol and CO2. And we are going to prove that both these things are being produced throughout this experiment by using lime water and then an alcohol test at the end. The first thing we do though is we boil the water to remove any oxygen that may have been present. After it's been boiled for five minutes, we take that water and we pour it into two separate beakers. We are then able to get to the next step, which is measuring out the glucose. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh out about five grams worth of glucose and we're going to add it to the first beaker and then we'll do the exact same thing and add it to the second beaker. And this glucose is going to act as the source of energy for the yeast during this experiment. As you can see then we just stir that up to ensure that the glucose is well dissolved. Once we're happy it's dissolved we then take our conical flask and it's we add the first beaker into the control flask. And this is just going to be glucose in boiled water and it's going to be placed in a water bath at 25 degrees for the duration of the rest of the experiment. The next bit then, we take the second beaker, we add it to flask two, but this time we're going to add yeast. So we pour the yeast into this flask and then we stir it all together to ensure that the yeast is dissolved in the solution. And what we're then going to do is we are going to take some oil and add it to the flask to ensure the anaerobic conditions stay that way throughout as no oxygen will be able to get through that oil layer. Once the oil is there we stopper this flask with a tube coming out of it and then we place this flask into the water bath as well. Now again this water bath is 25 degrees and we're going to allow this reaction to run until we're sure there's no more activity and the way we know this is because bubbles will stop being produced and rather than just using water we're going to use lime water because this will be our first proof of ethanol production because CO2 is produced alongside ethanol when yeast breaks down glucose anaerobically. So we left this reaction running for a few hours and we knew it was finished when there was no longer any bubbles being produced. And as you can see there, carbon dioxide was being produced because the lime water has turned a nice cloudy solution. Now, the next step is let's see if ethanol was also being produced. And to do this, we have to filter the solution. So we take our conical flask and we add it to the coffee filter paper and this will remove any solid mass within the solution. Once we're pretty happy we have the filter going, we're going to take a test tube and we're going to gather some of that filtrate. We're going to fill the test tube about halfway and then we're just going to place it into a test tube rack and we're going to get ourselves ready to test for the presence of alcohol because we need two chemicals to do that and the two chemicals are potassium iodide and then sodium hypochlorite which we will see now and the way these two work is what we're going to do is we're going to take a dropper and we're going to add a few drops to, of each into the test tube with the filtrate and it's going to give us a lovely color change so it's going to go from being that creamy color you can see in the filtrate in the background to a nice kind of brown black color and this is really important because what's going to happen is that brownie black color is going to change yellow in the presence of heat if alcohol is present. So what we then do is we take that test tube and we're going to add it into a nice beaker over a hot plate and we're going to continue to add heat. I left this reaction running for a few minutes and as you can see the color starts to alter slightly and become slightly more yellow until eventually after about five minutes the yellow color was really really distinct and voila we have alcohol.